This is Richard with PJ System Support. Today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to reseat your memory, install new memory, or just remove your memory. First thing you want to do is you want to shut off your system and unplug the power from the back once it's shut off. Then just press the power button like you're going to turn it on to discharge the electricity that's still in the system. Then just go ahead and touch the metal on the inside of your case to discharge your static electricity, just to make sure you don't harm the components when you touch, touch them. And then what you want to do is to remove the memory, all you do is unclip the sides here, you just apply a light pressure to the side, pull the memory stick straight up, and then it will come right out. And you can just repeat this on all the memory sticks you have. On some systems there's just one clip, and so you just unclip the one clip and still pull straight up, just like so. You'll notice also that there's this key here, about halfway through the chip. What that does is it ensures that you can't um, try to install it the other way. If you did, it would hurt this is you would hurt the chip and actually uh, try to bend it a little. So you don't want to do that. Make sure the chip's aligned. So then to install memory, or to reinstall, all you got to do is just apply even pressure on either side once you have it lined up, and just push straight down. Don't be afraid to hurt the motherboard. You can um, push down enough to get them to clip in without hurting it. They're secured pretty well in there. And then once you got that installed, you can go into the BIOS and it will show you uh, which memory is, in, is installed and you can verify that you have all your memory in there. You can also set your timings. Here at Puget Systems, we set the memory timings for each chip um, to be exactly what they need to be versus leaving them on automatic, which a lot of other manufacturers leave them on automatic, but we want to ensure that just in case the automatic functions don't work properly, the timings are set correct. And... You can also check in Windows or in another operating system to see how much total RAM you have to make sure it's seen at all. And if you're doing this because of an issue with MemTest, uh, you can go ahead and rerun MemTest. As well as another quick tip is, while you have this memory out, you can go ahead and use compressed air to blow out the memory slots, just in case there's a piece of dirt or debris in there that's blocking it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and have yourself a great day.